Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. Jumping in again, our streak has been reset to zero, but we're going to try and do some more stuff with tainted characters as we have been recently. We still got Eve to unlock and Forgotten to unlock. Uh, we had Lazarus recently. Let's do Eden this time around. We have a bit of a hard time with Eden last time, but tainted, tainted Eden's a weird one. He can be quite fun. He can be kind of interesting. Um... We have started with a potentially really good active here. Basically, we take double damage, um, but I really don't like having retrovision here. We take double damage, but we can uh, generate black hearts. So as long as we don't lose it super early, which retrovision is, yeah, <coughs> gonna make hard. I kind of knew that was gonna happen, I'll be honest. This retrovision is horrible. Do you know what? I'm No, fuck this. <laughs> I don't wanna stick with retrovision. Nah, do you know what? Fuck this too. <laughs> I don't hold R very often, but goddamn game. You made me do it. Yeah, balls of steel, that's better. That's better. We've got really bad tier rate, but tech two here, so on the uh on the reroll things will we'll see how things are. That annoyed me. I got a really good book there, and then it wasn't particularly Retrovision's fault that I got screwed the way I did, but I'm gonna blame Retrovision because it just made it harder to see things. But yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this book is and what it does. It spawned a, a fly there, so I don't know the significance of that, really. Yeah. Definitely our fire rate right now is causing issues. At least we're dealing good damage with this. Good, and we'll hope the item room sails us through as well. But yes, we are back on it, and I do need to... I'll, I'll be honest, I've been slacking on YouTube real hard. Like, real hard. And I really need to pick it back up again and get back into the groove of things. I'll be honest, work has just been more chaotic and, like, busier than usual. So it's definitely contributed to it. But, like, normally I have a nice healthy backlog of Isaac videos that I have ready to go. So basically, if I'm ill or if I'm away one day, I can just upload those. For the past, like, month, I've had not a single backlog. I've been literally... I'm recording this on the day that it's going to go out to YouTube. Um, the brown horn... Causes all enemies to defecate violently, pushing them away from you and spawning friendly dips. Thanks for that. Spawned a fly right next to me that I immediately walked into. That wasn't ideal. Uh, and also gave me plus 10 bombs, which did not give me plus 10 bombs. Real good here. There you go. That's interesting or something. I don't really know how to feel about that, but there you go. Um, not great damage and fire rate here. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, I've been slacking and then like into the gungeon. I've not really had time to record, so I've not been into the gungeon video in a while. Voidigo, I was supposed to be doing twice a week and that's been lowered to one time a week. I've stopped doing videos on the weekend, uh, or at least videos other than Isaac because I've just not had time. And it's, yeah, just, I need to get on it a bit more. I feel bad. I feel bad for letting people down. I know that you guys obviously still appreciate the content you're getting, but I'd like to be able to provide you with a bit more, um... And especially, like, the extra series, like, Voidigo and Gungeon. I know people like those, and I don't want to only be giving one episode a week of them, really. I want to be able to do more, but eh, it's just tricky. It's just tricky. Right. Boss is dead. Unfortunately, Mum's lipstick, but we don't really care what the item is, do we? Ooh, a half-soul heart, though. We don't really care what the item is so much, do we? Um, let's just keep going. And see if we can have an okay time as Tainted Eden here. I, basically, the question is for me, do I want to be re-rolling on purpose? Oh, God. This is pretty much immediate loss of our devil deal here. Oh, wait. Mm -mm -mm, we might be okay. We might be okay. We might be okay. Champion here is a little risky, but we can deal. We can deal. Okay, Good. You shouldn't be too hard to take out, especially while you're jigging about like that. Okay, we're good. Oh my lord, okay. That was rather chaotic. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting it to be that insane. But, these can drop stuff. Um, Apparently we got hit in all of that. I didn't, I didn't notice at all. But apparently we got hit during all of that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, based on what happened, I can understand how. But I didn't actually see us get hit, so I'm a little bit surprised by it. Doesn't matter what this is, we're just going to take it. Hey, it's not. I like not. We can actually manage to grab some stuff over gaps. I'll be even happier, but not always a necessity. We'll try and get uh, some money here. 
to utilize the shop eventually. So there's a lot of pots here for us to utilize. Mini Isaacs, how dare you? Okay, this was this was bad. <laughs> we did not get much out of this at all. Okay, this was terrible. <laughs> it's all my bombs and I got basically nothing for it. Nice. Throws all those enemies up. I like it. Stats are pretty good with the roll that we've got right now as well, so I'm pretty happy to keep these stats are rolling if we can. But who knows how long this will keep going for. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, what's a, what's a, like a, an NPC in a game that you're a super big fan of? What's an NPC that really just like, I don't know, you just really took a liking to? And that's always an interesting one. Ah, bugger. Oh god. These enemies aren't meant to be hit separately. Also, our stats are now dog shit again. Okay, things didn't go well there, did they? Also, our character is looking like an absolute munter right now. Um, Check out the devil deal with low health. Take it with low health. Giggity gamble? Gamble. <laughs> uh, I was just not a fan of that run, I'll be honest. I was not a fan of run. This run, however, this run, baby. I like the way this looks. I like the way this looks. If we can keep this going for a while, I'd be very happy. Hemolacria, one of my favorite items. The head of Balrog is pretty good. Yeah. So as long as we can actually hit these guys without getting hit ourselves. Do you know what? Fuck you, game. I got stuck on the poop. I hate this character with a deep burning passion. Why did I decide to play this character? This character's gross. We got the sigil of knowledge here, though. If we can keep that around, that'd be nice. Cherry Bomb's kind of good. I didn't realize Cherry Bomb was so good. We'll do a stars here. Glass Cannon isn't ideal. It's kind of good, though. God damn, this is kind of good. I wonder if it works with bomb synergies. If it does, this would be kind of amazing. So it's ready so often. Okay. I've not really used Cherry Bomb before, but I have to admit, I kind of like it. Especially with, with it being a thrown bomb as well. Rather than a thingy bomb. Ah, I tried to cook that one. Not really getting the timings right with this. You guys, I can just shoot. Or I can just get hit again. <sighs> I don't know why. I just I just seem to get hit so much more when I'm playing as this character. A character that getting hit is pretty detrimental or can be pretty detrimental. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I just got hit again. I don't know what's wrong with me. Button. Oh, I got hit there as well. God damn it. Every single time I get hit. Now, that was some good money, though. That was some good money. Not enough for the shop yet, but... All of those... No, just... Just end it all. This is all terrible. <laughs> Give me something good, game. I don't do this often, but come on now. I'll come back to you. I think this shrinks everything in the room, maybe. Can't remember exactly what this does now. No, it breaks all the, the it breaks all the breakables. Okay, yeah. that's kind of good to know though. That could be useful, depending on how long it sticks around. It's a heavy dependent. Yeah, don't get hit. We're going to do a full floor here without getting hit. That is the way. That is the way. Really? I really needed the money there. Liking the, uh, the Molten Slag going on right now. That's helping. 
That is helping. Oop, I do not like all these fellas. Come on, fire that fire. There we go. Burn them up, burn them up. It's good when it hits. What we got with this guy burning as well, nice. It's nice that it sets them on fire too. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Come in here. Quite a lot going on here. There is a tinted rock there, but do I want to use that yet? Soybean is fine, thanks. Right, before I use that, let's go and do our secret room stuff. Okay. So, try and play this guy out. That was not what I wanted at all. I really wanted an item that I could reroll. So, you've kind of screwed me there, haven't you? Ugh. Horrible. Worst time to get a contraband, boy. And he didn't even be the contraband item either. He just gave me a small contraband. Which only gives me one item on the next floor. Instead of it being a secret room item. Which would have been cool. Anger. Right. Yeah, I had a feeling that I was going to get hit there. Right, didn't manage to do a floor without getting hit. Max HP is nice though. A small contraband has gone away now too, so you were literally fucking useless. God damn it, I'm so annoyed about that. That could have been such a good play in getting a thingy there. And then there's you. Eh, I don't have it anymore, do I? Because it got re-rolled. This character's gross. Character's very, very gross. To be fair, I would take Bob's Rotten Head here. I'm having a hard time hitting this guy right now. Does this guy throw up? I can't remember. I can't remember if he just bombs and flies or if he throws up as well. Might only be the big version of him that throws up. I will take it. Bob's Rotten Head is very, very good damage. I like it quite a bit. <sighs> Get back into the groove of things. I always do this where I go through periods of just being real bad at Isaac. So I'm hoping that I can get a bit better now. Well, that was nice. Ho ho ho, so I got so much of that room then. So much of that beautiful room is dead. Oh, you managed to fly into a spike. Do you want to fly into a spike? No, you don't get hurt by the spikes. That's frustrating. Good. Guess I'll take it. Do not like, I was just about to say, do not like the looks of this room. Okay. Chocolate milk first, pretty decent. Ooh, chocolate milk with um, toy piano. Pretty darn good, actually. I can tap shoot. Do some really good damage, potentially. Shop, what do you hold for me? Hopefully an item I can utilize. I would really hope so. I guess. Not ideal. That hit me? I'm very annoyed about that. Why am I so chunky? What the hell? Ah, as if that hit me. God damn it. Oh, my fire rate's so bad as well. It's so bad. I don't even have a bomb to use on you to speed this up. I got hit there, but it was only on my holy mantle. Oh, God. Stood way too close to that. Got hit by my own bomb. It's just pathetic, isn't it? Just terrible. Okay, we got him at least. 
Devil deal with this amount of HP, I will take. I'm going to take both of those. Pretty fly. Right. I'm hoping that basically having a Devil Deal active means that we always reroll into other Devil Deal actives, right? Good. Fire rate's low, but this is a good setup. Doesn't matter. I've been hit. I did get a Devil Deal active, though, which is nice. Got Greg the Egg. That one egg was worth 40 eggs. What the hell? Devil deal teleport. Unexpected. Balls of steel, maybe? Nope, just a look down. I'm taking risks here, but I feel like I need more stuff to work with. More good items. Ooh, I do not like this room in any way, shape, or form. I will be very much leaving this room. No reason for me to progress through that one, so I'm not interested. What? I got hit there. God damn it. How? God damn it. I just can't not get hit. I'm so bad. So bad at this goddamn game. Walk too close to things. Don't know what this active does. Okay, this active just produces the locusts. That's pretty good. What on earth are these things? Do they not attack? I don't think they attack. Weird. Very weird. Oh, we've got Papyrus Rags. That's pretty good. Ooh, this can be charged with Red Hearts. That's kind of nice. Seems like a pretty decent active. It only produced one Locust Fly, though. I'm guessing it's like between one and two or one and three. Oh, God. This is a little risky. Get out of here, little shits. Okay, we're pushing forward. But yeah, as long as these guys are still enjoying the ice episodes, I really hope you are. Um, of course, we've been doing this series for a long time now, so things are going to get old to certain people. People are going to move on to other games. But i, I got to say, I feel like those of you that are still watching, you're, you're pretty much in for the long haul at this point. Or at least I'd hope. <laughs> um, I know still some of you still watch for like the modded Isaac gameplay. Some of you probably just watch for the idle commentary that I give. The Northern Lion-esque commentary, although I, I, I do not claim myself to be any, anywhere near as good as him at this, but <laughs> I like to think that I can chat shit about nothing for a while. Um, I tend to try and mix up a, a, like a good amount of talk. Oh, really? Good amount of talk between talking about the game and talking about this. How does... I still don't know how to use telebombs at all. I don't get them. Why did I die there? I don't understand. What's that? I, what is it about? I don't get it. <laughs> Telebombs is an item that just befuddles me completely. Um, we'll take that. Active did nothing there. Yeah, not a, not a really great episode here at the minute. Death Streak is on fleek. Oh, really? Really? And I just can't not get hit. But yeah, anyways, today I'm actually having a pretty good day overall, apart from the, the failures that have befallen me on this Isaac run. Uh, but um, I went into town uh, with my girlfriend to the city centre. Uh, to, we basically went to do go and do like a banking review thing, where they like look over your accounts and tell you how you can sort of make more out of the money you, that you have. And we changed over some stuff, some savings accounts, and we're basically earning a lot more interest now, or we will be. Which is pretty nice. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and I went to a, a place that does like the best grilled cheese sandwiches I've ever had in my life. I got a, it was like a kit. It was like a Chinese barbecue, no, Korean barbecue chicken and ham with spicy mustard and um, Swiss cheese. Let me tell you, it was goddamn amazing. And my girlfriend got a uh, Parmesan garlic wings. Um, and then we got some mozzarella dippers to share, which are like homemade mozzarella dippers. They're real good. 
Um, and then I got a stra homemade strawberry lemonade that was like one of the best drinks I've ever consumed. It was so goddamn good. So start of the day, honestly, was real, real good. Had a really, really good time. Um, and yeah, let's just hope that the, the Isaac runs don't let me down. Because uh, at the minute, I'm spoiling myself with the, uh, the, my failure, my inability to play this game well. My inability to play this game well is letting me down. When's someone going to release a, a rework for Little Portal? Little Portal's just goddamn gross. I know there is a, a mod that makes him double tap rather than going straight away, which I definitely do respect. Because Little Portal is actually like decent damage at this level. But he just eats too much stuff that I don't want him to eat. Gemini, conjoined friend. Good. Like there, look, little portal just did some good damage there. Right. You're running away from me. Little Paul killed like most of the things in this room, so it can be good. It's just, just, it's such a hungry boy. He eats everything. I only want you to eat some things. And it's always things that I don't want, never things I do want. Beautiful. Oop, he almost threw that burn at me there. Right, like, like this, take this. You can have that and get a bit bigger. You're going down pretty darn quick. You have a very low HP pool. Tried to keep Gemini close, do some damage, but I realize there's a risk to that, so... Hey, very, very easy kill here. I know Devil Deal's just not been good for us recently, but I'm going to take it anyways. Oh, Reaper Bomb is real good. We'll take it. Keep moving down. Okay, this, this run's going a little bit better. Health-wise, we're not in a great spot, but overall, not too shabby. Overall, not too shabby. Yeah, Reaper Bum will be able to give us some good rewards here and there as well. Not all the time, granted, but like, I think it's like ten or so souls, and he'll give you so he'll give you something. Give you cards. I think he can give you burn hearts as well. Burn fragments, as we just got there. Wisps. Unfortunately, he's gone now. Stats still okay. Tinted Rock there, nice. Alleviate some health concerns. Our trinkets changed over as well. We get flight at the end of some rooms and become a Zazel. For, or is it only for a room? I think it's only for a room, right? Yeah, it's only for a room. Damn it, couldn't have flight at that room. Gosh darn. I think this just um, adds the weakening curse to all the enemies here, which is... Pretty damn good. Again, another room that flight would be valuable in. You gonna explode? Yes, you are. I had a feeling you were gonna explode. Yeah, there you go. A room that actually could use flight. Oh, crick his body. Okay. Please don't lose this run. I like this. I like what I've got going here. I don't want it to go away, but I know that it will. Is there a downside to this active? I feel like they might be. Yeah, we're getting Azazel after like every room here. Not really how I wanted that to work. The Void Bomb didn't really do anything for me there, but... Don't get hit. Okay, we're good. Oh, scary. Me and Devil Deal. Um, take care of you first. I guess this is pretty good for us. That would kill us, sadly. Chance to shoot a bloody key tier that if it kills an enemy makes them drop a temporary red heart. Why not? 
Eh, actually, I'm kind of liking the Azazel thing, to be honest, for the extra flight. Either way, let's keep it going. We've got some good stuff going on right now. Health is still at a risk, but I, I refuse to learn from my mistakes. I refuse to learn. Ooh, now that is... If we get blue fly generation, that is really, really good. Now... One thing I'm curious about is, in the rooms that I'm Azazel, am I still technically the Tainted Eden? Will I, if, if I get hit, will I still lose my items? Or not? And if I, like, beat the boss as Azazel, do I get an Azazel completion mark or a Tainted Eden completion mark? We've got Steven here. Hello. I'm really not sure. I'm really not so sure. Curious. Very curious. Look, Penny, kind of nice. Big old brimstone boy. Not so nice. Do the boss now. Well, it's gone anyway, so who knows. I hit so many times in this boss fight. Not having these rocks here is not helping at all. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Okay, not terrible items here. Not terrible items. Not ideal. But, eh. Hey, we're still able to weaken things with these fires. The same weakening we were using prior. Holy water's also, of course, pretty damn good. Tinted rock. Nice, nice. So many spiked rocks, I don't want to deal with them. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I think he cursed I. Like, teleported there, which is weird. I didn't know they could do that when they had Cursed Eye. Shadath. It's not very useful for us, but we'll keep him. Right, we'll go do Stephen Floor now, I guess. Honestly, Stephen Floor is kind of interesting. Because uh, the item trading. Because we can get items from other item pools. So I think we want to be trading, up, trading away pretty much everything. You know, I've had tons of people walk into my mouth. You though? Just don't mess up anything in there. Or else. Beautiful. We've been gomped. Yes, please. See, that's a devil deal item. So we've got a devil pool item now. Yes, please. That is an active item. That is bad. So in that case, we've literally just lost an item, which is really not what I was hoping for, but there you go. Ow. I'm having a hard time with enemies at the minute. You're really a big pain in the ass. Dude, stop and die, please. Things have so much health. Or either that, I've just got incredibly low damage. I think I've just got incredibly low damage. Still feels like I've got low damage now. I'm trying to use pointy rib more than anything, to be honest. Oh my god, this is so slow. I kind of want to re-roll on purpose right now. It's, it's that slow. I've got flight right now. Mad Onion. Decent. Not bad, not bad. I'm hoping we get a good few of these things across the course of the whole floor. A good few of the uh, traders. It seems to be pretty random. It seems to be a minimum of about three, but you can have upwards of like five or six. Good. Lots of keys. Lots of faces following me. I don't like it. 
It's scary. It's spooky. We do have some money for a shop here for the secret room. <laughs> Trying to jump on me. I don't think so. All stats up. Uh, yeah, let's take it. Point your rib is like my main damage dealer, but still. Ugh. It is a shop pool item though, so it's a bit different. We froze all the enemies we can't hit. Oh god. Audio got really messed up then. Get out of here. Oh dude. Things just don't die. Oh no. We got marked. Do we still have a Devil Deal item in here? I suppose Blood of the Martyr is a Devil Deal, right? I don't know. I don't remember. I'm struggling though. I'm struggling. We've also got... We've got Max plus Anti-Grav, but I don't think Anti-Grav is doing anything. Not by the looks of it, at least. Those two do not synergize in a way that makes any sense, at least. Oh, God. Ho! Oh, you saved me there, game. You don't realize it, but you saved me there. Yeah, try and take out you first. Oh my god, dude. I have such trouble with this guy. He moves around in ways that are weird to me. There you go, we got him. Marked is just obviously a little bit tricky in general. Oh my god, how did I dodge that? I didn't even mean to. Okay. All dead. See how the boss goes here. One more trader, maybe? Ah, bugger. We've got technology here. Didn't think there was an enemy still alive for some reason. Hey. Our enemies tend to poops here. I very much like that. Okay. Luckily, we've got invincibility here, so we can get in there with this. Do some really good damage. In fact, this is a very good combo right now. About to run out. Get out of there. Okay, we got him. Ah! Didn't get the right item, though. And we don't have enough for a devil deal, but I'll go in in case. Yes! I knew it'd be worth it. I am really taking risks with this run, but I'm pretty much just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks in this run. I am really just, like, hail marrying it, because I this character just sucks. <laughs> We got Pride Pin as well, which is kind of nice. Oh, I just used my active at the wrong time. I had to use it as I entered this room and I used it before. Very stupid. Complete waste. Oh, that fire that can hurt me. I got the shots that knock me back as well here. That's ideal. This rickety shots, whatever they're called, rickety burns, that knocks you back. Just terrible. Oh my god, it's just so frustrating. Like, so much knockback, it's so frustrating. What even happened there? What, what's going on with, like, why have I got a fire trail? I've got Aquarius plus something else that's causing it to be fire based, but I'm not sure what the other thing is. Out of the items I've got there that'd be making it fire based. I'm confused by that. Wait, what the fuck? What, what's going on with this room? Wait, what? What? Why is it. Is this my trinket that's doing this? Ah. Okay, that's gross. 
I don't know why you'd ever want that. This might be where I perish here, because I'm very confused by the layout of this room. Okay, we're good. Is this mum already? Why? I'm too rickety for this. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, that was awful. I don't like that character one single bit. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Uh, bit of a struggle bus. We'll, we'll get a win under our belt as the next episode. We'll play some one a bit more normal. And then I think we'll do a little bit of a streak of playing some modded characters. We'll play some deleted things like that because I know people are wanting to see that. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.